Hey Brochi guys, welcome back to another video. And today's video is a huge collective Halloween themed haul. This might be a long one. It might, so definitely grab a coffee, grab a tea or a snack and get all snuggled up to watch this video. Now, I have collected quite a few Halloween like decorations, shirt, uh, costumes, and just a bunch of like Halloween themed things. It is now spooky season. I don't care what anybody says. It is August 24th. It's definitely spooky season. The leaves outside are changing. All right, so before we get started, um, I wanna tell you guys that I got this shirt at Spirit Halloween last year, and it is Michael Myers, and it says The Boogeyman. And I absolutely love this shirt. This is a size large, so large is like the perfect fitting shirt, but if I want something oversized from there, I'll do like an extra large. It runs in like men's sizes, like unisex sizes, I would say. And if you're wondering what lipstick I'm wearing, it is actually the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipstick in the shade Bad Girls Club. And I found this on clearance for 50 cents at Walmart the other day, and I literally couldn't help it. Okay. Without further ado, this is the new shirt that I bought this year from Spirit Halloween. I feel like Every year, I just want to get a new horror t-shirt, um, maybe multiple, but at least one. I have to at least get one new horror t-shirt. Um, so this one I got from Spirit Halloween. I actually had a 20% off coupon. If you give them your email in store when you purchase something, um, they'll send you emails and they'll send you coupons to use. So this was actually $21.99 and it ended up being like $17 in change with the coupon, which is actually not bad when you think about it, because like Spencer's and Hot Topic have some horror t-shirts, which are really nice, but they're super expensive. And there's like literally never coupons for them. So Spirit Halloween, 20% coupon, 17 bucks, definitely worth it. I think the last time I looked at Spencer's, they had some really good horror uh, t-shirts. And I wanna say they were no less than 25. And this original price is 21. So of course it's Ghostface. Ghostface is my most, mm, it's hard, it's tough you guys. He's one of my favorite serial killers, horror characters. It's Ghostface, Chucky, and Michael Myers. Like those are my favorite, right? I don't have a Ghostface tee so I had to get it and I just love the fact that it says scary movies and chill because literally my life is watching Netflix, so. It has this little horror thing right here. It looks like a sticker, it's not a sticker. And then he's busting through the TV. So I absolutely love this one, I've already worn it. I got compliments on it. And it's just a great um, added piece to my horror t-shirt collection. I have some more stuff from Spirit Halloween, but we'll get to that in a little bit. We're gonna just like mix it up in this video. I also have some stuff from Dollar Tree. So I really wanted to get this video up. I don't think I'm done shopping for spooky season but I really wanted to get this video up because you know how things just will disappear um things will sell out I got this little uh Halloween Christmas tree thing which I wanted to get my hands on last year and they sold out and that's that's why I want to get this video up to you guys so it's a Halloween tree it's actually black and orange and I just I wanted to get it like I, it's so silly because it's a Christmas tree but it's for Halloween, but I just like couldn't pass it up. Like, it's just like a fun thing for me and the kids to do together. And it was a dollar twenty-five. Like, can you really go wrong with that? So here's what it looks like. It's orange and black. And so of course I did get ornaments for it. Yeah, these are the ones that I got. They have a couple different to choose from. And like I said, they have like big ones if you actually have a bigger black Christmas tree or Halloween Christmas tree. Um, but of course I got the little ones for the little tree and it's like black, uh, orange and purple and there's some glitter and some shiny. So that's gonna be super cute to decorate. All right, another thing that I got from Dollar Tree was this little skeleton dude. If it didn't light up, I would think mm, it's too boring and small for $1.25, but it does light up so I'll show you guys.
And what's really cool about this, which I guess is why they started charging a dollar 25 instead of a dollar is this is pretty cool because it is motion activated it has lights and it has sound effects and it was a dollar 25 i know it's pretty small but i think that's a pretty good deal for a dollar 25 if you ask me the last thing from dollar tree i just found this the other day i just go like several days like i'll just check back check back you know i got all of this stuff separately but they finally started coming out with some ceramic decor and ceramic decor from Dollar Tree is really what I look for because ceramic is something that can last throughout the years I don't really want like crappy plasticky paper decorations because that only lasts one year you know so I found these and I got three of them I got one for each of my kids and one for myself I just thought it was way too cute it's giving me cocoa vibes and I absolutely had to have it I gotta turn down my brightness a little bit. There you go. So it is like Day of the Dead themed, which I normally do not go for a Day of the Dead theme. It's not, I love the look of it, but I just love Halloween so much more. And it's funny because I'm Mexican, but my family is very Tex-Mex and we never celebrate a Day of the Dead. Um, so I just really don't have a connection to it, but I do love the candy sugar skulls like and how they look they're so beautiful and I just thought because it's had a little succulent coming out of it it was just too cute all right so the next things I got were actually from big lots and if you are looking for Halloween socks I'm gonna tell you right now go to big lots or go to target in the bullseyes playground dollar spot area don't get it from Dollar Tree unless it's like such a cool design that you can't find anywhere or something like that but they're gonna charge you $1.25 for one pair of socks. Today I went to Target and I saw $1 pairs of Halloween socks. And then of course at Big Lots, they had a bunch, like a big selection actually, of $1 socks, not only for adults, but for kids. They had like a, a female section of socks, a male section of socks, and a kid section of socks, all at $1 for one pair. I thought that was a really good deal. And I've never seen Big Lots do that before. Maybe they have. Anyways, here are the selections I made. Um, I got this for me, but if my husband wants to wear them, he can too. <laughs> I forgot to think about getting him some. I just didn't think he'd want Halloween socks. I don't know. Anyways, these are technically men's socks. I'm going to wear them. And it says stay creepy with a skull. And they are gray. And they're going to be like a crew size sock. So I love that because then you can wear shoes and kind of like show the top out of the shoes. This would look really cute with like a little black dress or like a skirt, like a schoolgirl skirt. And I got these lady socks, of course. It has bats and moons. Like, did you think I was going to pass this up? Bats, moons, and vampires, like three of my favorite things. I literally have bats and a moon. I could not. I literally could not. They're so cute. And again, these are crew size. Uh, yeah, crew socks. Let my kids both pick out a pair that they wanted. I forget who got who. I think I think my daughter got these ones. So my daughter got the pumpkin, which is going to be, again, really cute. Poking out of the shoes, a little jack-o'-lantern. And then my son got the little ghosty socks, which I thought were super adorable also. The next thing I got was actually from Home Goods, And I haven't been to Home Goods in a really long time but i always see on youtube people are shopping very early for halloween stuff at home goods because they're like one of the first stores that puts out halloween stuff so i was like okay i definitely gotta go check out what they've got at home goods and i bought my first ray dunn cup now i'm not a ray dunn fanatic i don't really care for all of the stuff by ray dunn it's like whatever like they all just like it gets boring really fast you know what i mean but I couldn't pass this cup up because if you know me, if you've been following me for a long time, and if you know me personally, you know that I'm a cup hoarder, a hoarder, mugs, to-go cups, glasses. I'm a hoarder. And especially when they are themed. So of course, Halloween, I had to add this to my spooky season collection. I absolutely love the bright, slimy, green that we have going on here it's gorgina i'm obsessed the inside is black which normally i'm very picky about my mugs i'm weird and i like when they're white inside because i like to really see the contrast of the coffee against the white i'm super weird but i will accept it because i love this mug um i like how like girthy these mugs are and that's another thing about me so i don't like little teacups it's got to be a girthy big thick 
mug okay i don't like tiny mugs because your girl likes caffeine and i don't want to be making multiple trips to the coffee pot so i loved the size of this i love that it said creepy and i love like the zombie slimy green um and then it was only a six dollars and 99 cents which i really thought that's not that bad especially because i know that ray dunn can be very expensive right this is from marshall's and i've never really bought like a ghosty type of decor before. I always go for like a witchy, vampire-y, bats, spiders kind of vibe. That's always what I'm attracted to. But lately in the stores, I've been seeing a lot of ghosty stuff and it's really, really cute. I've always thought like they were cute. I just never thought, eh, that's not my, you know, I just thought that's not my aesthetic. I'm not gonna get it. I just, I got it. It was just so cute. And you guys, this was $6.99 at Marshall's and it lights up. If it didn't light up, I don't think I'd pay $7 for it, but it lights up. It's nothing crazy. It's literally just a tea light, but I think it's really, really cute. And it's very simple and like not too crazy. It's a little toned down. So I will have a video coming out of like I guess like a tour of my house of how I decorated for the spooky season. If you guys are interested, please let me know in the comments and I'll kind of show you around my house. Um, but I'm planning on doing more of a spooky theme in the dining room and then in the living room and the kitchen, more of like a cutesy Halloween vibe because every single year that comes around, I literally can't decide because I love everything so much. I love every aesthetic so much because I love Halloween and spooky season so much that I can't decide. So I always go with like a creepy spooky vibe, but I always appreciated and loved other stuff like the really cutesy vibe or like the vintage vibe. So this year I'm going to be doing spooky, creepy and cutesy. So I also found this one at Marshall's and I thought, oh, that could kind of match, like not the type of match where it's like a perfect match. But the type of match where it's like almost the same, but it has its own character, but it looks good together. So I got this guy and he was also $6.99 and he also lights up. So had to do it, had to do it because I just love like those fall chilly nights. It gets dark and you just light up all your little decor and it just looks so pretty in the house. So I love how like the bottom is this shape it kind of reminds me of the little squid from Finding Nemo and I don't know I just loved how like chunky and thick this little ghosty was he was so cute I had to have him I thought like seven bucks for a light up ceramic decor like this is a really good deal this was also from Marshall's and this was like this is actually a candle believe it or not but we had to get it my mother-in-law was like you have to get it because kings because we're the kings and he has a crown and I love skulls and I already have skulls all around my house so she was like you have to get it um we did ask for a discount though because there's some like nicks on it because it's a candle and it's missing a rhinestone here and it's missing a rhinestone here so don't be afraid like Ross Marshalls TJ Maxx Home Goods those kinds of stores if there's ever like a, a nick on it or it's like broken somewhere or whatever always ask for a discount they pretty much all the time will do it all right, so today I just went to Target. I was actually going to get a hair dye, which a hair dye video will be coming out soon. I haven't done it yet, but look forward to that. So I went to Target specifically for that, but I also said to myself, I'm obviously gonna look in the bullseye's playground because duh. <laughs> so I got my hands on a spooky tree. I see these every single year and I always want them and I never get them. They're either sold out or like, I just don't have the money. And that sounds ridiculous because they're $5 a piece, but like $5 adds up, okay? <laughs> so don't judge, I'm a cheapskate, I'm a cheapskate. But today I was like, I'm doing it, sis, I'm doing it. They always change the spooky trees just a little bit every single year. I will tell you in previous years, they've been bigger, way bigger than this, way more worth your money because this was $5, because why? This should have been $3. I would pay $3 for this in a heartbeat. But five, that's why I didn't get two. And I feel like dumb because I definitely should have got two. Because you should just always have two of these types of things. But I just got one. Anyways, it's called a spooky tree. It's for indoor use only. And yeah, it was five bucks. But like Target, get it together. Make it bigger or make it cheaper. 
There's glitter all over this, which I generally stay far away from glittery decor because then you'll find it all over your house and it's really annoying. But I can't help it. I love the spooky tree. And now that I have a spooky tree literally tatted on my arm, like, need I say more? Couple more things from Target. I got it. I got it. I got it. So I was devastated, devastated the past month when they came out with the mushroom jars, like when they were just starting to put out fall decor in the uh, Target bullseye playground thing. They had these glass mushroom jars and they were so cute. And I'm obsessed with mushrooms recently. They're just so cute. I just love the aesthetic of them. Didn't get my hands on them. We checked two different targets. They didn't have them. I checked online, couldn't find it. And I know that a lot of people on TikTok and YouTube have been searching for this particular jar and I found it. Like, I was like, do I need a glass pumpkin jar for anything? No, I don't need it. But you know what? It's a hot commodity and it's something that will last for years. And I gen genuinely feel like this was $5. She was $5. This is worth $5. The spooky tree, not so much. This for sure is worth $5. Absolutely. This is a big jar, you guys. It's as big as my head. Like, this is a big glass jar. And I always have, like, a candy dish out every single year with some, like, Halloween candy in it. And so this is just going to be my dish this year. Um, I'm just going to unwrap it for you guys because I want you to see the full effect. <laughs> She's so pretty. She's so pretty. This is gonna go with like all of the Halloween aesthetics. Whatever your decor looks like, this is gonna match it because it's just a glass pumpkin. If you wanted to, it's a little jiggly. If you wanted to, you could spray paint it. I'm just gonna leave it like this so that you can see the candy in it. Um, I love it. I love the shape of it. I love the size of it. This is a great $5 deal. They're also from Target. I only saw two left. I, I literally only saw two left. I got some of these last year from a different, I think it was like an online website, but these are definitely cheaper. These were a dollar per pack and you get 12 of them with 32 adhesive circles. So they're just paper bats, which seems like cheapy, but trust me, this goes a long way. There's something about this bat decor that just makes, it just really gives that Halloween spooky vibe. I would not suggest these for long-term outdoor use because it is paper. So if it rains, they're done for. But like maybe if you wanted to use them outside, just put them out like the afternoon of Halloween. Um, that's what I did last year, but I think mine were made out of plastic. These are made out of paper. So these will be indoor use for me. Um, but yeah, you can just make them like flow up a staircase. You can make them flow up behind your couch on the wall or in the dining room. Oh my God. I had to get two because I felt like 12 was not enough. So, but for being a dollar a piece, that's like a really good deal. And it's an easy, cheap way to really give the Halloween vibe in your house. And of course bats like it, it's bats I had to do it all right let's get into my books because I got a few different books and I just I'm obsessed all right so these are both from home goods and home goods had a bunch of these like faux vintage books and I'm completely obsessed with the look of them and the quality is very very good it feels like a very old textured book and they look like very old books so these are the two different variations that I got. I went with a witch vibe, but they had a bunch of different like themes, but I'm gonna put these in my dining room because my dining room is like a spooky witch's lair type of vibe. And I do have a lot of bookshelves in there. So I love the idea of the fake books. So first I'll show you this one. This was $7.99, not bad, not bad. It is like very nice quality and it is thick. There is a witch riding a broom with a sun in the background. There's like little spiders and like filigree. And I love the black and white stripes in the background. And it says potions. And there's just so many textures and colors going on here. It's very interesting. I love it. So here's, it says potions on the side. So I thought with the spiders and the potions, like that would look really good on the bookshelf. And then on the back, it's the same design. And here's how it looks in here. 
and then there's so many things you can do the only thing is this guy does not line up there's like a hole right here and there's this little metal thing that's supposed to go in and it doesn't line up which i didn't notice in the store so if you're gonna buy one of these make sure it lines up but there's so many things you can do with these you can just put them on the bookshelf for decoration like i'm gonna do or you can keep a stack of these on your um coffee table in your living room and you can put your remotes in them so that it doesn't look all cluttered you know just like keep your tv remotes in there to have them hidden away then we've got this one this is a bigger one i love it this was 9.99 some of the other big ones that were this size were going for 12.99 i just decided to get the cheaper option because um more is better but this says witches tales so here's what it looks like on the binder and there's like an old witch with a black cat duh had to do it we love cats in this house um and then there's a bat up here behind the word witch and then it's going to be the same thing on the back but i just love how like worn this book looks it looks very very old of course and then here's what it looks like I like this one because this actually has a magnet here so yeah it's a magnet closure um, but it is very thick and very good quality so yeah I think it's worth the 10 bucks I love it I love these types of books and I do have one more to show you so this one is actually from Marshall's those were home goods um, this was only $4.99, which is such a good deal. Definitely cheaper than Home Goods. So maybe check your Marshalls before you go to Home Goods. Unless, of course, you're obsessed with that style, which I am. But this one is really cool. It actually has like a Ouija board kind of design on it. A skull with wings up here. There's a heart with a dagger, a moon. Um, you've got an eye here, some spiders, some bats some owls here like all the things that i love and here's the binder i thought the binder looked really really nice i love the bats the spider and the moon there's like little potions on the bottom it looks really cool and the back right here is like the same again it was 4.99 and here's how it looks and this is also a magnet closure so here's what it looks like inside and yeah i'm just obsessed with the fake books so it was i want to say like two years ago dollar tree came out with little fake books like this where it opened and it was just like hollow but i haven't seen them yet so if you found some at dollar tree let us know in the comments because if you're on a budget but you want this type of vibe i know in previous years dollar tree has had stuff like that i actually have two of them oh my god this haul is so long you guys i hope you're sticking with me uh we're almost done i just have a few more things to show you all right so my kids asked for these i mean what spooky season without some candy right so these were 6.99 it seems a little pricey but it is a pound of chocolate so I, I guess it's a pretty good deal. This is by the brand Little Temptations and it's Halloween chocolatey eyeballs and there's a gnome on the front. Um, so it's just a bunch of little chocolate eyeballs and I think I'm gonna put this in the pumpkin glass dish. This was the last thing from Target. These were a dollar and it's a jack-o'-lantern pair of socks. I always love to get a new pair of Halloween socks even though I just showed you guys too. I don't have ones like these, so I also had to get these. Um, I just love the orange and the black stripe and the fact that at the back of your ankle, it's gonna be a jack-o'-lantern. Um, I think the rest of the stuff is Spirit Halloween and then we're done. So just stick it through because I have some really good stuff to show you from Spirit Halloween. Last year, everybody was obsessed with finding the horror blind bags that came with little plush keychains. And I had wanted to find them so badly, but they had sold out by the time that I got to a Spirit Halloween. So this year, I've gone to two Spirit Halloweens so far. The first one didn't have them, and the second one did. Me and my daughter have been waiting to get some of these, so we got two. Uh, one they had was a horror um, blind bag, a uh, keychain plushie, and I got Gizmo gizmo if you don't know is from gremlins and the other choices they had for that blind bag was like uh pennywise georgie um the girl from beetlejuice in the red dress i can't 
I'm blanking on her name right now. Yeah, I can't remember the other choices, but I got Gizmo and he's super adorable. And the other blind bag I got was a Nightmare Before Christmas blind bag. Me and my daughter actually scooped up the last two. And I love Nightmare Before Christmas and my daughter loves it too, so I'm super glad we got it. And I actually got Sally. Yay, so cute. I got a good one. I love it. I'm sure Jack Skellington is like the hardest one to find, but I feel like Sally is also like the second hardest one to find and Oogie Boogie. Um, but yeah, super, super cute. And I'm definitely going to be putting these like on my keychain or on my purse. I can't decide yet. All right, last thing I'm showing you guys is our Halloween costumes. So we got my son's costume and he decided he wants to be a Ghostbuster. We just watched Ghostbusters, the original, um, just a few days ago. And, but he was always obsessed with the song Ghostbusters because I have it on a Halloween playlist that I've been playing for like the past couple of years. He loves that song. So I was finally like, we need to watch Ghostbusters. And we watched it and he decided he wanted to be a Ghostbuster for Halloween. Um, so here's what we got. So listen, guys, the costumes at Spirit Halloween are pricey. Like they're no less than $40. <laughs> So just know that um, I had a coupon which helped out a little bit, but they're pretty expensive. I'm sure you can get it somewhere else that's cheaper. You definitely don't need to splurge, but we splurged because we saw it and that's what he wanted. And we didn't want to risk not finding it anywhere else or, or risk missing out on his size. So this is a size small for my son. Um, it's the Ghostbusters jumpsuit and it comes with the Proton Pack and name patches so i guess you can pick oh you can pick which name you want to have like which person you want to be and it does come with the backpack thing that he's wearing right here which is actually pretty cool and then my son actually got from walmart it was on clearance for four dollars he actually got the little gun thing it was like a toy a ghostbuster toy gun thing so it's perfect so he is all set for his costume my daughter decided she wanted to be something spooky so she wants to be chucky but like the girl version so we got her this sweater which is actually a really decent sweater like i'm gonna be honest with you like the quality is good like quality is there and if this was my size i would be wearing this other days besides Halloween. Um, so obviously it's the Chucky sweater. It says good guys. It does have some distressing on it. Oh, I just love the colors of this sweater. And then it does come with the fake knife, but it does not come with the mask or the hair. So just know that. And this was $36.99. The Ghostbusters one was $39.99. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, cause you guys know I'm good at Halloween makeup and I normally do um crazy halloween makeup on myself this year i'm going to be focusing my halloween makeup skills on my daughter and i'm going to be replicating the chucky face on her with completely just makeup um we decided to not go for a wig just because like look at this wig on this guy it just looks really tacky it just doesn't it doesn't look good so if we're not gonna look good we might as well not spend the money on it. So what we did was just to be cheaper, we got the orange hairspray from Spirit, which was $3.99. And we're just gonna spray her hair orange and just bring the effect. But it doesn't need to be perfect. It's still gonna look good. But like I said, I'm not spending $30 on a wig that already looks like crap. <laughs> the last things that we picked up from Spirit Halloween is actually my costume. And I decided that I actually don't have any inspiration this year for a makeup look. I've done so many good costumes in the past years. If you want to see the, the past Halloween costumes I've done, uh, basically all with just makeup, um, go over to my TikTok. I just made a TikTok with my past um, Halloween costumes. And they're so good. And I was always super inspired. By this time, I would already know what I was gonna be but I actually don't know at all I was like trying to think of like what makeup looks can I do but I've done so many I just don't know I just didn't have anything that I was really glued to so I'm gonna be something that I've always wanted to be but I've always shied away from because it's a mask and I don't really like to wear masks but I'm gonna do it anyways and it's ghost face <laughs> 
I love this. I've always wanted to be ghost face and I've always wanted to do like I know it's like a basic bitch kind of thing. Like a lot of girls wore fishnet leggings and like a short little black dress but like I kind of want to do that and I have some boots that will go perfectly with this outfit. So I didn't get the dress. I actually have a bunch of options to choose from when it comes to black dresses or skirts or whatever. So I just got the mask and this was $12.99 from Spirit. And yeah, not only is it gonna be my Halloween costume, but I'm gonna probably make some like funny TikToks. And I already made a funny TikTok of my son wearing this and it's just, it's just fun. I absolutely love Scream. The first Scream is probably my most favorite horror movie next to Bride of Chucky. Those are like my two favorite. And then of course I had to get the knife. Um, and the knife was $6.99, not that bad. It could be worse, right? And then it's got like the fake blood in there. Yeah, so had to have the knife because that, that is going to complete this Halloween collective haul. I hope you guys are still with me. If you are, go ahead and leave me a jack-o'-lantern emoji down below if you're able to use emojis. Leave me a jack-o'-lantern down there to let me know that you watched the whole video. I really appreciate it if you stayed. I really hope this was helpful to you. I know during this time, because I'm obsessed with spooky season and Halloween, my favorite things to watch on YouTube right now is gonna be like Halloween shopping videos, Halloween hauls, and like costume ideas and all that stuff. So I really hope this was helpful and enjoyable for you guys. Give it a thumbs up if it was. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.